you've been through something in your life that while you were going through it, while you were in the trenches, the difficulty of it, you questioned your strength to make it out alive. You questioned if you could endure the level of pain, maybe heartbreak, disappointment, frustration that you were going through, right? Maybe this was a breakup. Maybe it was a divorce. Maybe it's that job that was just burning you out. Maybe it was a family dynamic. Maybe it was your childhood. Maybe it was a health condition. Maybe it was anxiety. Maybe it was depression. Maybe it was postpartum. But there was something that you encountered that came so close to breaking you. So close. But it didn't. Because you're here. And you're watching this. But there was times that you thought it really was going to, right? Can you think about that thing, those times? I know I can. And there were several. There were several from childhood. There was several from teenage years, from my 20s. And even as I entered my early 30s. And that was specific to when I hadn't yet overcome my alcohol addiction. And in those moments where it feels like, how much more can I take of this? And could this break me? What actually happens is we get broken open. We get broken open and discover that inside of us, we have this reservoir of strength we never knew we had access to we realize we have this level of resiliency we never knew we had. And with this strength, with this resiliency, we keep rising. Rising from the ashes like a phoenix, right? You've heard that saying before. And we almost can't believe it, but not only do things start getting better, or um, like rebounding from how difficult they were, but they start even elevating above where they were before, before that baseline, right? And then we start realizing, wow, I wonder if I have the ability to support other people go through this powerful, positive transformation and survive it, but not just survive it, thrive through it the way I have in my own life, right? And this is where I'm going to segue into this concept of what does it mean to be a lighthouse? A lighthouse is often a light worker. Someone who has incarnated into this life, this flesh suit, and encountered something difficult on their journey. And that thing, whatever it was, it didn't break them, but it broke them open to find the strength to rise above it, to find the ability to transmute their pain into an aspect of their very purpose of why they're here on the planet. I know that was the case for me. My first program back in 2017, it was literally called Elevate Your Life. And it was a reflection of everything I had done to take me from rock bottom in the gutter to a place I never believed was in the cards for me, right? So when you realize, hmm, I'm on this light worker path journey, I actually have something I wanna share and be of service for. It's similar to being a lighthouse because what is the purpose of a lighthouse? It's to shine its light all across the ocean shore so that boats can find their way, so it can support ships, not crash up against the rocks and have destruction take place, right? And that's part of you being a lighthouse in your purpose, in the reason, in one of the reasons you're here on this planet is transmuting the difficulty you've been through and being of service in your unique way. And sometimes what can get in the way of really shining our brightest as a lighthouse, as a way shower, is feeling lack of confidence, maybe lack of clarity, maybe feeling like we should dim or contract our light, like it might annoy others, 
there's so many factors that can come in that will make us feel like we're not ready to own that leadership role. And then we need to remember, but what about the people who need me in that lighthouse leadership role? What about those who need me who don't even know I exist yet and I need to shine my light even like on a grander, wider scale, a greater level of influence, impact, you know? And that's one reason, here's the segue, that every summer as we transition into Leo season where the energy as the, at, at the collective level, it's more vibrant, it's more fiery, people are ready <laughs> to, to, to kind of like, you know, kick it up a notch. That's why this is the season that I bring back the annual Lighthouse Leaders and Coaches. It's a five week activation portal that I facilitate to support, like I said, the lighthouse leaders and coaches, the conscious female entrepreneurs, ramp up their visibility. In essence, ramp up the magnitude at which they're shining their light out into the world to increase their level of magnetism so that they can attract the right people who will benefit most at the greatest level of what they have to share to increase their level of influence, their deep level of impact, and absolutely to increase their income, right? So in this five-week activation portal, what happens is every week I tune in to the community and do a live training that's going to support all of those things, whether you're a seasoned veteran as an entrepreneur, maybe right now it's a side hustle, or maybe you're in the phase of thinking, hmm, if you saw yesterday's video about trusting the signs, maybe you're in the phase of noticing the signs and wondering, is this the path you want to go? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to take your online coaching as a soul led visionary to that next level? Do you want to make a greater level of impact and influence in your community? Grow your income to a level that your previous self never imagined possible for you, right? So every week there's a live training and a challenge provided to the group and it gives you ample time, a full week, to tune in and watch it, catch the replay if you need to, but also implement the challenge in your own life, in your own business. It's important to me to keep this space sacred and intimate, safe, to support sisterhood and connection along the way. And that's why I cap the number. It's always capped at 50 members, keeping in the pattern of the re repeating fives. Five weeks, 50 members. And this is truly a transformative experience. I loved it so much last year, some of you maybe attended. And so if this sounds like something that calls to you and you'd like to be a part of, that you think you'd be a right fit for, it's by invite only, so feel free to send me a private message. I mean, you can say something on the wall, but feel free to send me a private message and I'll share with you a link to join the group. We're gonna be kicking things off formally at the start of next week, but I am gonna be adding new members in as this week unfolds. But this is the first day I've mentioned anything about it. And so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to support Women who've had that quantum catalyst in their life that almost broke them but didn't support them, become that lighthouse, that way shower, and take their gifts and their level of impact to the next level. To allow them to work full time for themselves doing the work that they were literally born to do, right? So that's what today's 14 out of 37th live was all about, is a sneak peek of what's coming down the pipe starting next week in that private group. But I'm still gonna be hop popping on here every single day until day 37, and I believe that's August 18th, my 37th birthday. So in any case, what are your thoughts about this? Do you care to be vulnerable and share in the comments something that you faced that was your catalyst for positive transformation in your own life? I'd love to hear. Okay, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.